Good morning, everybody. What an absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, thank you for coming, uh, and thank you for joining us with our guests, County Commissioner Rick Miner and uh, uh, Mayor John Daly of the greatest city in the state of Florida. There you go. And the greatest county in the county of Florida. Uh, my name is Dominic Calabro, and I'm honored to serve as President and CEO of Florida Tax Watch. Uh, by way of introduction, Florida Tax Watch is now enjoying and experiencing its 40th anniversary. It's hard to believe. Like, it's almost impossible to believe. And I've been blessed to have served uh, 39 going on 40 years myself. But uh, today we've got a very important issue before us. It's really all about these three words. Make Florida count. We want to make Florida count. Uh, Commissioner Matlow, you, you, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, First, I want to emphasize the importance of the 2020 census. As you can see here, it impacts the fiscal fiduciary well-being of the state of Florida and all of its citizens and taxpayers each and every year, each month, each day, and every single week. Florida Tax Force has been watching this issue and been very actively engaged in it since the 1980s. In fact, uh, beginning in late 1980s, when uh, Senator Cunningham got elected the first time, he worked very actively with Governor, well then Senator Bob Graham, uh, taking tax budget recommendations to make sure we had updated um, estimates of Florida's population built into the distribution of federal funds, because Florida consistently gets shortchanged on federal funds to the state of Florida because we use old, outdated census data. So money is being sent to states where Americans no longer live. It's wrong, it's unfair. This is the time to make that right, okay? And the census is critically important. It's required under the founding documents of our nation's founders. It's in our Constitution. And it's to count every person in Florida. Okay? So we want to make sure we do that. And the reason that even though tax has been on this issue for a long time, I'm going to talk about something that I'm following is a very pragmatic, simple, but powerful example of how collaboration between our city and county, and I think increasingly working with local community groups, will make Florida count. So, Florida is the third largest state in the nation. It's one of the, I think, the fourth fastest growing states in the nation. Again, the third largest, the fourth fastest growing. So you combine Florida with fourth fastest, and you have a probability that you don't do a really, really outstanding job of having an undercount. The last time congressional testimony was taken, on this issue regarding Florida, uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, said that Florida had the fourth largest undercount of about, uh, that impacted uh, a couple hundred thousand people, conservatively estimated, that cost Florida grants and aid of at least $225 million a year. The undercount cost Florida $225 million per year. Over 10 years, it's more than two and a half billion dollars. The Senate census would be over two and a half billion dollars. That is rightful money that Florida should have received, but went to other states where Americans no longer lived. Okay. This also impacts the degree to which Florida can be uh, more prominently represented in the Congress of the United States because the census is the primary basis upon which we apportion um, the House of Representatives. So that could have also cost us possibly one seat, and we want to make sure that doesn't happen. The other thing to keep in mind is that no matter how well we do, no matter how accurately and completely we count, if we were to count every single person in Florida on or before April 1st, 2020, because Florida's a fast-growing state, a large state, within three years, well, within one year, but certainly by three or five years, we will not fully represent. The census will not at all represent. So each year away from 2020 to 2028, 20, 2029, we get further and further away. The Congress continues to send money elsewhere where it's not, uh, where Americans no longer live. So it's really important. Um, so what I really love, and the reason why we we're brought here today is because I saw a great example of collaboration between our city um, and our county. Very pragmatic, not a lot of fanfare, but I thought not only is it important to recognize here and to recognize, and recognize that and encourage that collaboration, I thought it was also critically important that we do the statewide. 
that in every county, all 67 counties, and the nearly 500 cities and towns across Florida, that we do our, our darndest, our best, to make sure every uh, Floridian counts. We count every Floridian that Florida counts. They did a great job of putting $10,000 a piece, but I sincerely hope, that as we move forward, that we can compound that, get community groups, uh, the urban leagues in this community and other communities, church groups, business groups, neighborhood associations. Get the community actively involved. That's really where it's gonna happen. Not just by the city and county alone or by government, but government being take, take the, the tip of the spear to lead to make sure we make Florida count. So without further ado, uh, I want to uh, recognize uh, Commissioner Rick Miner from District 3 of our Lee County Commission. Thanks, Dominic. Um, good morning. My name is Rick Miner. I'm the uh, Leon County District 3 Commissioner, and it's my pleasure to join you this morning on behalf of my fellow county commissioners. Today, we're here to discuss a very important topic, the 2020 U.S. Census. First, I want to thank uh, Dominic and uh, Florida Tax Watch for organizing this event and taking every opportunity to highlight how important the upcoming census is. Also, thank you to the City of Tallahassee, Mayor Daly and the city commissioners for again joining us at the county to make sure we reach every citizen. At the county, we know firsthand how difficult it can be to make tough decisions based on the amount of funding versus the amount of need. At the county, we also know firsthand the, difficult, uh, the difficulty of budgeting decisions that must be made because the needs in our community often exceed our limited resources. And that's why the 2020 U.S. Census is so important and why everyone should be counted. The results of the census will influence funding, grant distribution, political representation, and future planning for our community. In the 2020 census, Leon County, in partnership with the city of Tallahassee, has taken a, a lead role in forming the complete county committee uh, to play a key role in educating and motivating residents to, to participate in the U.S. Census. In fact, I was part of the 2010 complete county committee, so I've, I've seen firsthand how important this committee is in, in, in working with the community to help to underserve, undercounted populations. Now, we're up for the same challenge in 2020, to reach those populations with historically low participation rates. And with the new option to complete the census online, we are confident that we can reach more residents than ever before. Therefore, we are here today to encourage our community to come together as ambassadors to spread the word and help us reach those that are hard to reach. The county and the city will be conducting a robust public information campaign to ensure everyone understands the importance of the census and we all have a role to encourage friends and family to be, count to be counted. We also want to make sure that the count is fair and accurate. And we can't do that alone. We need everyday advocates to join us. For example, like the neighborhood grandmother who keeps an eye on all the kids in the neighborhood. Uh, our student leader who has a positive impact on campus or the dedicated servant who has always seen making a difference with their faith-based group, and the mom and pop store that has been a staple in the community for years. We need everyone. The phrase for the 20, uh, 2020 census platform is shape your future, start here. And I really like Dominic's make Florida count. Um, we need everyone in Leon County to start here and make yourself count. So thank you very much. I would like to hand it over to our illustrious mayor of Tallahassee, <laughs> Mayor John Daly. <laughs> I appreciate it. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Bailey. I am the proud mayor of the city of Tallahassee. First, let me say, Dominic, um, thank you for all that you do. You are truly a leader in our community and in the state of Florida. The good men and women here at Tax Watch, you will do great work, and I appreciate it. Rick, I could not be more honored to stand on the stage with you. We have been friends for a long time. Um, you are such a leader in this community. You're doing an incredible job on the county commission. And this is what it's all about. The relationship between the city and the county has never been stronger, and we are leading the way in the state of Florida. Keep up the great work, and it's my honor to join you today. I also want to take a second to recognize a couple members of the city of Tallahassee family that are here as well. Sandra Jackson, city attorney, has joined me. And Ms. Allison Ferris, who's the public information officer, who I had the distinct honor and privilege to serve in the Raw Middle School Band with way back you know, growing up here in Tallahassee. And I love working with each and every one of you um, on a daily basis. This is an incredibly important issue to every community across the state of Florida. 
Uh, I would also be remiss as a member of the Board of Directors for the Florida League of Cities, which I know that you do a lot of great work with as well. They are also working with communities, along with the Florida Association of Counties, to spread this great message that you are taking the leadership role on. But my colleagues at the City Commission are extremely proud to join our friends and colleagues at the County Commission with this initiative here in our own community. It is very important, if you think about the impact that the 2020 Census will have on the City of Tallahassee and Leon County, it impacts all aspects of our government, whether it's from receiving and qualifying for state and federal assistance, congressional representation, state representation, the planning of our community and where our population centers are. It's important that we have a very robust and accurate count, as Commissioner Miner said. And by the way, on a personal note, you are personally a leader on this issue. You were involved in the 2010 count. You do have the experience, and we appreciate you stepping up to the plate on behalf of the county. And I will give the county credit. They are helping us take the lead on this issue, and together we are going to have a very robust system. We are engaged each and every day, both the city and the county, with very strong social media presence. We believe that our communication with the citizens here is second to none. We will be pushing through a very strong multimedia campaign in all different assets to be able to reach every single citizen in, in the city of Tallahassee, in Leon County, to make sure that we do have an accurate count. Now, one of the exciting things about this particular count is that you can actually fill out um, your form online, and we will be pushing that hard, along with the traditional methods as well, to make sure that everybody is counted. It is my pleasure and honor to represent the City of Tallahassee in this initiative, and to work with the county on the 2020 Complete Count Committee, and we are going to make a difference if we are going to have the accurate count. It matters in Tallahassee. We are the capital city, we are the capital county, we are the eighth largest city in the state of Florida, and we are going to make a difference and have an accurate count. Thank you all so much, and by the way, thank you for the press corps for covering this important event today as well. Thank I'm you. assuming we can take questions that's available, or uh, if you're, you're interested. I finally, I think I, Kendra did a great job, so sorry Kendra. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you everyone for being here. No, um, really, this is critically important. I, I think just re restating it, we are looking at this because, look, we believe that, uh, you know, some people say practice makes perfect. No, it doesn't. You practice a golf string long, you're going to learn to be a bad golfer. Good practice makes perfect. And I think we're seeing here between the city and counties a good practice, a good effort. It's fundamentally sound, it's engaging the citizenry, and I think it's going to really be powerful when it engages. The, the community groups, not just the, the apparatus of government, but the community groups. Again, the business, the neighborhood associations, the uh, urban leagues, churches, synagogues, the, the institutions throughout, so that everyone's aware, and not just aware, but act, but act proficiently, accurately. Uh, we want every single person uh, lawfully and properly counted. So let's make Florida count, and we'll be here to answer some questions that you may have. Yeah, Dominic, you're talking about, of course, local complete count committees. There's been a call by some Democrats for Governor DeSantis to create a statewide complete count committee. He apparently doesn't want to do that. What's your thoughts about that? I, I think it, it's something you need to ask, but I, don't, I can't comment on that. I do believe, though, that this is grassroots. I mean, it, it's really not a, it is ultimately a, a national issue. We know that this is the Constitution. It's a responsibility of the U.S. Department of Commerce and the Census Bureau. But this is the beauty of it. This is where the founders of our nation said it's really the grassroots. It's at the local towns, it's local communities, and we want to make sure that we do there, because they don't know in Tallahassee where people live in Sopchoppy and in different communities across the state, but the mayor does, the county commission does, okay? So it's really important, even if we did something, I think it's more than anything you might coordinate it, but that's kind of what we're doing as citizen groups. And we're making sure that our community makes Florida count, and I saw what we're doing in Leon County, a good collaboration. We just want to see that and things like it uh, around the state. And that's kind of part of the, the founders of our federalism, of our nation, was the experiments among states, but also experiments among communities. There may be even a better idea. We're, we're open to it. All we care about is just doing a great job and making sure Florida counts. So that's, a, that's our response. Yes. As you know, the federal government is already printing the census without the citizenship question. But do you think there's already are, are you taking steps because people might be fearful that there will be a specific question? Is there a confusion that you guys want to clarify with? That, it's not, 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really our role, uh, at least not, not my role, our role here. We're going to respect whatever the, the president and the Supreme Court or the court says. Uh, it hasn't been asked for since 1950. It may have been before, but the point is, whatever uh, the question is asked on the census, we'll be sure who fills it out. And it's really important that if we can get everyone online or sign up soon, then the census takers, which are federal uh, agents, if you will, can go after, as Commissioner Meyer said, and count those historically underrepresented, undercounted populations, because that's usually where it happens most. So, you know, what, it, we have no control over that. It's so not an issue. Is that concerned that there might be an undercount because people are fearful? I'm just concerned that people may know about it but not act on it. Look how many people know they should vote but don't. Look how many people say, I'm going to register but don't register. So, and that's part of it. We, we see so many young people, and we have so many tools. It's not just we want to have a tool. We want to make sure they use the tool. Right. Use the tool for the community for their benefit. And we've got two folk, two, two uh, key organizations here that will rally the community to act. So we want to have make sure it's an action. Those actions result in actual counts, lawful, proper, and full counts. So whatever the questions are, it's above our pay grade. It's something we can decide or make an, uh, an answer to. But whatever the questions are, we want them to be fully and properly answered and responded to so that we make Florida count. You mentioned um, the effects of an undercount in Florida. Uh, what was done wrong in your mind in 2010 uh, related to an undercount? Well, it, it, first of all, it's hard to count everybody with 20, I think it was like 18 million or so people. We have like 21, 22 million people. So, we know, even though we do, a, let's say we do a bang up job, we do a critically excellent job. Are we going to bat a thousand? No, I want to bat over nine hundred or nine nine hundred ninety nine. You know, so I think the big problem is the original is we found out that uh, the counties and cities, the counties actually did a better job early on of making sure that addresses were submitted in cooperation with the Census Bureau ten years ago. Cities a little bit lesser were under underprepared. So we're trying to get that right. That's one. There's many steps along the way to make sure you have all of that. And also we have enough census workers, you know. And so we'll look at what those options are to make sure we have enough people to go out and count everyone and that those that the count will actually count. So that's really important. So there's all kinds of reasons. We just want to make sure that we learn a little bit from that, but more importantly, what's happening today, technology, the transient nature of Florida is so different than it was five years ago, let alone ten. So if we know what the situation today, let's be on our best job to make sure Florida counts. And Dominic, if I can Please. jump in, I'll give you a prime example of why the, the count uh, matters. So if you look at, for instance, the federal program of community development block grants, okay? Not necessarily for Tallahassee and Leon County because we're well above the threshold, but for many communities across the United States and the state of Florida, whether you receive direct funding or whether that you have to apply for funding through the state is based on population. So that is just one important example of making sure you have an accurate count, especially if you have a community that might be on the might be on the edge. It could literally determine whether they receive direct funding from the federal government or whether they have to go through a second uh, a funding formula through the state. So it's really important for Tallahassee, the you know, county to come together, but for all communities to come together and make sure that they have an accurate count. Thank you. Any further, if there's no further questions, we'll be I do have one more. Yes, I know that you touched on it briefly, but without this statewide committee to ensure that counting is accurate, and uh, do, you, do you have any concerns that lacking that, because we've had it for the last couple of counts, and now we don't have it for this, this at least this count yet, and I guess it could happen in the next session, but it doesn't look likely at this point because of the governor's line in the sand, thinking that that should be a federal issue and not necessarily something the state should take care of. So are you worried at all that this is going to impact the overall count? Is that one of the reasons why you're doing this press conference? No, we would do this no matter what. Mm -hmm. We think it's a uh, right from responsibility. Florida Tax Watch is a uh, public interest organization founded 40 years. Its purpose is to help inform, educate, and engage the citizens and taxpayers of Florida. This is a really critical fiscal issue. It's a critical fiduciary issue. And I mean, I really do believe, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I think it's ultimately community-based issue, because when you get right down to it, who knows the neighbors? You know, not the state agencies, it's, it's the local communities. So it's nice to have uh, any cooperation anywhere we can get it, but most importantly, 
want to make sure that the cities and counties working with local community groups for everybody, get the word out so everyone fills out their forms, particularly either online or on paper, but then focus on those groups, work with neighborhood associations, paper groups to make sure the historically underreported, undercounted folks are fully and properly counted. So no, it's the issue is really it's all the community. And I think that's the beauty of the federal system. It's it's making sure we, we do everything we can at any and every stage of game to do that. So I'm pleased to first particularly we've been doing this, not this specifically, but understanding the implications. But taking a step further, be a little bit more helping to be the tip of the spear to make sure we we don't govern, but we help those who govern govern a little better. And and they're doing a great job. And so we recognize good, pragmatic, wonderful steps. Let's do more of it and maybe even some better ideas across across the line. So in some ways, I, I'm glad to see that it's not uh, one size fits all. We'll find out maybe what works better in Orange County, what may work better in Hendry County, what may work better in Key West. You know, there's different challenges because of the demographics, the geographic challenges, so forth. So you know, having one uniform statewide system may actually be an impediment. So it's, it all happens at the local level. Let them that know their community best make sure we make or count. Donald, you mind about Please. Thank you. I also think that Rick and I are in a very unique position with our governing bodies, the City of Tallahassee and Leon County government, to really serve, a, 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 to bridge the gap. Let me explain why. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm serving on the board of directors of the Florida League of Cities. Rick's colleague, my colleague, Commissioner Nick Maddox, is the current president of the Florida Association of Counties. Dominic, Tax Watch, located in Tallahassee. Florida Association of Counties, located in Tallahassee. Florida League of Cities, located in Tallahassee. We are hoping to create the model and be the shining example of what works, what is efficient, how we can have an accurate count. We also are in a unique position with leadership here in Tallahassee through the state associations that represent local governments to be able to work with the governor's office and the city and the county have a wonderful working relationship with the governor's office to keep them updated on what we're doing and any assistance or any partnerships moving forward as well we can create. So I think we are also in a very unique position to set the example across the state of Florida of how it can be done right, how it can be done efficiently, work with the state associations through the leadership that we have and bridge the gap in the state government. Thank you. Uh, we're available to answer some more questions if you want, but thank you all very much. I just want to get a picture.